Hello and welcome back to our latest Camper King video. He's Paul. She's Sophie. And we're going to be taking a look at what we're looking at today, Paul. This is the Le Mans, not just a historic motor race, but actually one of the most finely appointed campers. It's compact and easy to drive. And let me tell you for why, because there isn't just plenty of space for us in the front, the space for the driver, five passengers, ISOFIX if you've got kids, which is great. But what's very unusual for a short wheelbase is you also get a big old boot to put all of your equipment in. How good's that? I know, you get plenty of junk in the trunk. So if you're thinking of swapping from a car and you need something that's very car-like to drive, you can park anywhere. Le Mans is the way to go. And also I think it's a bit of a look. It's got the optional 20s. It's got the black pack with the side steps and the front grille. Black gloss roof as well. She's a looker. It's not just a look of it, dead easy to drive as well. Like you say, perfect if you live in the city. You can just nip around, get in those little tight parking spaces. You even get in a multi-storey with this. Now it's impossible not to love the outside, but I think you're gonna love the inside even more. Should we go and take a look? I think we should. Come on. So we're sitting here in the Le Mans safe. Do you know that scientists have actually proven if you order this interior, looking at yellow actually makes you cheerful. So this has to be the happiest camper interior you can buy. The most happiest camper I think it is. And I'll tell you why else it's happy as well as a place to be, because it's ridiculously well equipped. You've got a 50 litre fridge down there. You've got the Pistol and Resistance. Look at this wine rack. That's a bit of a flex, isn't it? You know, if you're on campsite, you end up talking about your vans, don't you, with other people? You know, when you just drop in, how many bottles does your wine rack take? And they'll be like, you have a wine rack. In yes, your we do. Yes, we do. Three That's bottles. a happy place to be. Yeah. So you've got a wine rack, game changer. You've got a single hob as well. You've got plenty of storage. It's lovely ambient lighting in here, look. Beautiful. And also, these seats are very clever. These tightened seats. So you've got a very comfortable chair if you're sitting in the back. This will take three legally, with proper seat belts. If you've got little kids as well, fully isofixed up, goes completely flat. But this is the clever thing. It's a short wheelbase fan and you've still got a full boot behind. Magic. It's, it's perfect, isn't it? It's perfect. It's genius. Do you think we should go camping? I think we should go camping. Let's go. Come are you on. driving? Yeah, of course I am. Safer than you, isn't it? If you're ready to elevate your camping game but in a vehicle you can use every day, the Le Mans is just the ticket. It's a delight to use on the road, and even if you're coming out of a car, it feels nimble and easy to place and park. It fits in any standard parking space. It'll make short work of any camping road trip, even if that's in the south of France. Right, so chairs, tables, coffees. All right, here we go. The campsite is the natural habitat of the Le Mans, and in a few minutes, it'll be yours too. Set up your table and chairs so that you're ready for the sun. Pop the top. Fold out the tables. Spin the chairs. set the mood lighting to, well, whatever mood you're in. The clever Isofix rear seat becomes a comfortable bed in just a few seconds, and even if you're six foot four like me, you'll find it's plenty big enough. Do you know what, so this is what I love about camper vanning. This, open up the boot, set the bed out, any time of day, morning with a bacon roll, mm -hmm. evening with the sunset, Sunday afternoon after a pub lunch. This is a picture window that you can literally set at anything you want and give yourself the perfect view. And it's much better than staying in a hotel, isn't it? Let's be honest. So much better. And also as well, if you like to go and travel around, you're staying in Scotland, you've got pretty much freedom to stop wherever you like, haven't you? So true. I love but Scotland. Should we go up there now? I think we should. But you know, 99 times out of 100, I would rather stay in a camper than a hotel room. And if you think a decent hotel like a travel in 160 quid a night now, average campsite, 20, 30 quid, you could stay three or four times a month in your camper van instead of a hotel. Save your finance payment. No brainer, isn't it? That's man No brainer. Advice for new campers, people thinking about camping for the first time. What one thing should everyone have in their camper van? One thing. There's a lot, isn't there, that you could choose from. But I actually think it's something that's not maybe something that you would suggest or think of Go straight on. away because it's not technically an accessory. It's not something in the van itself. But hear me out on this one. Bags for life. Not me. When I say bag for life, <laughs> I mean bags for life. What, supermarket bags for life? Yes. Tell me more, expand. Well, 
Oh, they're quite handy, aren't they? Obviously, if you go to the shop, you can pick your stuff up. But you can also, when you're loading the camper, put all your clothes and everything in it. But what's really handy is when you need to go to the toilet block for your shower, you can pop all your clean stuff in there, empty it out. Oh, and it keeps it dry when you're in the shower. Yeah. Same when you go to the beach. Because they're waterproof, aren't they? That's genius. See? And also, when you bring your stuff from the house to the van, it's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. I love that. So actually the best camper van accessory you can ever buy is a non-camper van accessory from the supermarket. There you go.